to Georgie's Gaming Guide. So today me and my friend Lily are going to be doing a review on the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. The set number is 76389. This set is made out of 1,176 pieces. Um, before George gets onto this huge set, I'm going to show you all the things at the front, including minifigures and loads of things. They're all unique, but first of all, I'm going to show you the snake here. Uh, it's really detailed. It's very huge, it's bigger than my head. Um, it's got angry eyes and it's mouth open. That. <laughs> then, first of all, I'm going to show you Harry Potter because it's Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> so, he's got black hair, he's got a sword here with some red gems. Obviously, his glasses, Gryffindor robes, and black legs. Now we are going to go on to Ginny Weasley. She's got her ginger hair, it's very really long hair, and then it's, we've got just like the books over there that we built last time. Um, we've got different faces. We've got Sad, Happy. I chose Happy because Happy's good. Um, oh, and she's got also her Gryffindor robes and uh, sort of a wand that matches her hair colour really. Now I've got my favourite character, Luna Lovegood. Um, she's got her Ravenclaw robes, blonde hair, brown wand and a very smiley face. I, lo I love Luna. <laughs> now Colin Creevy, I think this is. He's got a very smiley face um, but he's still sad on the other side. <laughs> I put his hair on the wrong way. So he's got brownish, dirty blonde hair, um, a really dark wand and Gryffindor robes. Now this one is Justin Finch. He's got dark brown hair, Hufflepuff robes and a beige colour wand. Oh, also Colin Creevy has a camera. Um, looks like that. Now we have got Tom Riddle. He's got a very angry face and an even more angry face on the other side. So you don't have a choice, but you've got to make this man mad. Um, let's do the slightly less angry one. Oops. Um, if I can put his hair back on. Um, yes, he's got an angry face dark brown hair, a robe, it's just a Hogwarts robe, um, and grey legs. He's looking very mad. Now we've got Nearly Headless Nick and this minifigure is really really cool because it glows in the dark. If I just... He looks so cool. Uh, he's got prim... He's got white hair, white body, but um, moustache and he's got some silver detail on his clothes then we've got Dumbledore he's got re really long white hair a white beard glasses brown wand and pink robes with some gold and silver detail there here we've got Professor Gilderoy Lockhart his wigs on and in the set he's actually got a wig on his desk that Jules will show you in a minute. He's got a happy face, but he's got a very odd, awkward face over here. Looks very sweaty. Um, he's got, yeah, his wig on, um, a beige colour wand, and golden suit. Then here we have got Professor Sinistra. She's got almost like a golden hat on. Dark hair that has just come off. She's happy but also not happy in this. Well, uh, happy on one side, a little bit angry on the other one, but not super angry. Beige colour wand and golden um, robe. And then the special one is a golden 20 years Harry Potter anniversary, Lego anniversary. It's a golden, golden. So he's got golden face, 
his tiny nose, <laughs> um, golden robe and a golden wand, and then he's got like a golden flat platform. So here we've got a little snake as well, a book, it's got some stickers on in the front but it's got no writing in it, and then we've got two Cornish pixies and um, another book that's got some spells in. So that's all the minifigures. So now that Lily has shown you all of the minifigures, I am going to talk about the actual set itself and Lily will also be reviewing the Great Hall, so I think that is going to be pretty cool. So um, as you can see on the outside here, you can see all the rock work down the bottom, then you can see like all of the different pillars on the top, and then we've got like this li little door into the Chamber of Secrets. But I am going to start at the bottom, so I don't. So for the Chamber of Secrets, I don't have to turn. I don't have to turn it around and then turn it back. So on this side, this um, rock piece comes out. So there's a little slide so you can slide the characters into the Chamber of Secrets. Or if you have the Polyjuice Potion Stake set, um, it, one of the um, fountains comes up, and you can actually fit the minifigure down. So if you put it on top of the Chamber of Secrets, because or you can take all the sections of this set apart because it's modular so you can put the um, Polyjuice Potion Mistake and the Fluffy Encounter in this set to make it bigger and yes if you've got the Polyjuice Potion Mistake definitely and, and if you've got this as well definitely add it because you can make it look like the characters are going from the fountain into the Chamber of Secrets so that's a really nice detail and yeah so this is just showing that you so you can put the characters in the slide from this side then over here we've got two bits that lock into this which I will show you what this um, is meant for and it, well one of the reasons now the second reason is for some reason Lego has decided to hide the basilisk tooth back there as well so I think that's quite interesting and that um, Lego did a really nice job on that so then if I get onto the main so that's what I'm going to do is I actually well there's one bit at the front I want to show you first so we have got the this uh, little see-through bit that makes it so you can put the characters in the air so you can put nearly headless Nick on it or one of the pixies on it and it does actually make it look like they're flying and as Lily said nearly headless Nick is um, glow in the dark so when it is dark and if you do have this set definitely check that out because it was really cool wasn't it when mm -hmm. it was in the dark. If I put a Cornish pixie on that as well. So then yeah so you can also put the Cornish that. pixie on it. So yeah that, so it's a yeah, so it's a really nice little feature just to make sure that they are flying. So then we have got one of the um, flying broomsticks as well, so I think that is really cool. Now I will show some close-up pictures of things I'm talking about. And up here we've also got a little chocolate frog. So there are quite a few of them just sprinkled around the set, so I think that is a really nice little detail and that LEGO did a really nice job on that. So as I said, we have got the door to the Chamber of Secrets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this set around. And I'm going to start here, then we're going to work our way to the left. So up here, as you can see, we have got Gilroy Lockhart's office. So we've got his wig, and in the films where Harry Potter's got tension signing um, autographs um, for him, we have got a stack of papers, which actually, the top one has a sticker of a pictured autograph of him fan mail. Then over here we have got um, four pictures. Now the top one on this side has him holding um, Harry and Harry looks really embarrassed or nervous. And then I believe the one below it has him with a, um, a mirror. And then the one at the top on this side has him being a Quidditch player, I believe. Yeah. And then the last one is he's like um, kill, killed a beast. So I think he's taken credit for stuff that other people has done in that aspect. Then over here we've got a little watchtower. I don't understand why Lego did it this way. Well, I guess in the films there is a hole, but there's no hole in it, so it looks like it's just staring into the walls. So I don't know why Lego did that. And then we've got I I like to think that's like a um, a owl egg because that we have got uh, Harry's owl on this side. So I think that is a really nice little detail. So I'm just gonna show you that so again i'm gonna take a picture of all these small things i am talking about just to make sure that you can um see it all so then on this side we have got like the star constellation near the area a sticker of that so i think that's really nice that's a lot of detail so then if we work our way down to this room so there is a big 
picture at the back of this room and it actually is I believe Gilroy Lockhart painting a picture of himself so I don't know why someone would do uh, have a picture of them painting a picture of themselves but Gilroy Lockhart obviously likes himself so much that he decided to do that so I think that is quite interesting so if we have a look at some of the other details so we've got like a, a couple other pictures then we've got like a potion and a pink frog and then we have got a skull and then we've also got like that's where the it looks like that's where the classroom is so we've got a few classroom tables and then the front bit where the teacher would stand and yes i think i've gone over all of the major details about that room and then there are a few candles at the back as well so i think i have gone over all of the major details for that side so would you like to go over the great hall yes so in the great hall obviously that's where the hogwarts students um eat their meals so here it's quite possibly breakfast time in the great hall um right now um so we've got cheery owls and pixie puffs i think that's I think the cheery house is very funny. Then we've got a croissant right here, some mugs, um, so they can have magical drinks. <laughs> then we've got some goblets or um, cups, and then another chocolate frog right here. We've got a statue of an owl, some candles on the outside, a mini chessboard up here. Um, we've lit. We've got a Hogwarts. Oopsie Daisy. Hogwarts. Um, crest flag then we've got some potions um some more candles at the back and a, i think that's a head inside there um some windows and got some bit of the roof that moves up here in the roof just above the crest flag we've got another chocolate frog and more of the castle tops and then just a, another little detail in the Great Hall is where the crest flag is that Lily talked about. If you do just, sorry, I'm gonna have to take this off because I can't really open it backwards. So if you actually take it off, we have got- The sorting the, hat. Yeah, the Hogwarts sorting hat. So I think that's a really nice detail. And I presume that as it's in um, Albus Dumbledore's office, I presume that's not actually where it would be, but I guess Lego decided to put it there, so it's just a little bit of extra detail in a little bit of a secret compartment. Then if we have a look down in the main chamber of secrets, so I said that I would explain this to you in a bit. So that is because the front of this, that is where this goes. So if you actually put this in, right, it's the front of it. So you ha if you have the um, big snake in the right position, then you can actually, if it's a little bit of getting it in, but if you've got if you've got the tail and everything in the right position, then in theory you can actually make it like properly go through. So I don't know how well this is going to work to be honest, because it's quite wonky. <laughs> uh, our one that the head has just come off. So um, yeah, it's you have to really try to get it in, and you have to get the angles of everything perfect or else it just will not go in it just it's almost like it refuses to go in it and that that is quite annoying but it's just how lego designed it and it's so it, it's a little bit of extra detail but again with the size of the set it is a really big set but i feel like they could have made the bottom of, of it a bit taller because the actual big statue is that the snake is almost as it's like a third as tall as tall as it that's obviously not what it was in the films and plus the minifigures are like half the size of it and when harry potter in the movies was actually there next to it it was massive compared to him so i think they could have just made it a little bit taller so then um, i'm not sure how well you'd be able to see this in fact i could turn this this way you in fact you can see it so there's this like slithering, two slithering um, bits around here. Now other than that, if you actually take them out and you haven't got this piece in, it is completely hollow. So there is not a lot of detail at the bottom, but detail is throughout the whole thing at the top just packed in. And then on this side, we have got a few bones scattered around in the place. I think that is really nice. So then over here, uh, there is a little owl. So I think that is 
really nice. I think there should, oh yeah, there's a little chocolate frog here as well. So I think Lego did a really nice job on that, just packing a little bit of extra detail in. And also the door that is on um, this side does open. So it does like come open. So I think that is really nice. And again, a just a little bit more detail that Lego has been able to pack in. And this set is absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna give what I think about the set and then you're gonna give for what you think about the set. So the playability wise, the amount of stuff that does come out, it is incredible. Now, to be honest, it's probably better for displayability. And I would recommend this for Really, if you're a Harry Potter fan, it's actually a really nice set to get started off with because some of the bits are a bit annoying, and but it, most of it is actually quite easy. And I think that it's just a really nice set for someone that likes to collect Harry Potter and that is really into obviously Harry Potter. And yeah, so um, would you like to give your what you think about it? I think it looks really incredible. Just it's massive and it's got loads of detail just like george said i think it, it's just the best thing for harry potter fans um and just as george said again i think it's um probably be better for display than play but you can do whatever you want with it it just is full of detail and i love it um yeah so i think we've gone over everything and yeah so thank you for watching and I'll, we'll see you next time bye so if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, subscribe and leave a comment so what you think about the set. And if you haven't already, check out the build um, when, we, when we make it. Um, thank you so much for watching and, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time. Bye! Bye.